Alrighty, welcome to the After Hours of T.C. Rustani, the podcast. I am fresh off the set of the biggest photo shoot in the history of photo shoots, and I could be talking about none other than the executive producer of the program's photo shoot, the lovely and talented Abigail Hi, What's going on, Abby? Hello, I'm eating Halloween candy right now. Well, I know you had, you, you were on a big fast before the photo shoot, is that true? <laughs> sure. Uh, well, you know, I, that's uh, you're a model now. You know, mm-hmm. you're, you're officially you're an executive producer. Yeah. You you model off the t-shirts and whatnot, and we had the big photo shoot here. So I know, fo- you know, a lot of the models that I know they fast before their big uh, photo shoots, but not you. I think you're sucking down. What are you sucking down here? Oh, these are the these are the sour gummy worms. The the trolley trolley. The sour bite, the sour bright crawlers. Oh, the sour bright crawlers. <laughs> now, do they bother the sour patch kids? I don't know. I do have those in my bag as well. Now, could this be a subliminal message to your good friend Captain Dave Marciano as bait on a hook for the fish? <gasps> Yeah, how did you know that? I, I can read minds. I, I, is it's, it is spooky season. It's spooky week right now. It's almost Halloween. It is almost Halloween. Now, we did the photo shoot mm-hmm. where we did four outfits. We yes. did the uh, backtothefuture.com Woo-hoo! t-shirt. Yeah, we did. That was awesome. We did the after hours with TC Rustani t-shirt, which was my favorite, of course, because it's my face. Of course. Uh, then we did a holiday one, which we'll talk about down the line mm-hmm. here during this podcast. Fa-la-la. And of course, over the summer, we had the big contest, Pick Abby's Halloween costume. Yes. And we finally shot it tonight, and it was the cheerleading outfit. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. I did a little cheer for TC, too. And you did do a big cheer, and your <laughs> pom-poms were pomping. Yes, they were. Now, that's <laughs> fantastic. Now, did, now <laughs> we know you were you grew up in England and one. You came here when you were three years old, but do they have cheerleading in England? Yeah. They do? Of course. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never really been I there. I mean, yeah, cheerleading... Cheerleading is an international sport. Um, it's bigger in the U.S. But also, I was also three when I was there, so I don't really like, didn't really pay attention that much. But I did cheer for quite a while over here. Yes, you did. And all of the wait, do you see the outtakes? But you're probably not going to see the outtakes. <laughs> but we videotaped this, ladies and gentlemen. So this, and <laughs> yes, actually, it, it was for your first episode of OMG Abby. Yes, it was. It was very exciting, very fun. Our editors are going to have to get that out sometime in early November. We yes. want we want Halloween and all this election poop to go away Ugh, before we wait. before we debut OMG Abby. The, yes. Some of the photos may be leaked out on on <gasps> our Twitter pages. Maybe. And you're looking at your Maybe. watch kind of like you were doing in the Back to the Future. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. You saw me. I just got a text message. <laughs> uh-oh. Was it someone who wanted to be on the show? No. You know, I'm still waiting to hear back from those important people. Well, those are It's important. pretty late. You know, it's, it's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in even though- Oh, I know that song. It took me a while. <laughs> Billy Joel. <laughs> the piano man. Yes. Yeah. Billy you know, you know, I saw this is totally off topic, but I have like two brain cells right now. But there was <laughs> there was a tweet, and it was like for a song called "The Piano Man," the guy with the harmonica does not shut up. And I was like, you know what? That is so funny and so true. You're right. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> they should up. have called it the Harmonica Man. <laughs> Sing us this, blow us a song, you yeah, the Harmonica Man. <laughs> oh my god! Unbelievable. <laughs> now. <clears throat> now you're not really an expert at doing photo shoots. You told me this off camera. Mm-hmm. This was pretty much, you know, you'd done stuff when you were doing stuff for the movies and whatnot, but that yeah. wasn't really a photo shoot. No, I didn't I wasn't really featured in that. No, you that weren't much. really featured, but this is like your first feature photo shoot. Yeah. I mean, how was it? Were you nervous? Um not really. Um I've I've been performing for I don't even know how many years. I've been performing for a while, so whenever we've done like promo shots for shows and things like that i've had to pose here and there but i've never really had like a, a, a an actual modeling like a modeling thing scheduled out like i've never actually gone in and a done gig. like a photo shoot yeah a, a big gig and we had a professional photographer come in not just me with an iphone <laughs> we had the lights the cameras the action and you'll all see it coming up ladies and gentlemen on the very first edition of omg abby check mm-hmm. check uh, our twitter feeds and of course mine is at after hours tc and yours is really easy to remember at after hours abby Mm-hmm. Triple A. Triple A. So don't break down. Unbelievable. <laughs> we should get shirts that say triple A. We have enough uh, we have enough merchandise in the works right that's now. That's true, but is that copyright? 
It doesn't matter. We can do whatever we want. We're after hours and we never close. You're not wrong. We're not wrong. And <laughs> speaking of merchandising, mm -hmm. one of the pictures that we took here <laughs> tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> it's, I mean, for around the holidays, we like to give back to the fans out there because without the fans, we're really nothing. Exactly. You know, we're just going to be sitting here chatting to ourselves and no one listening. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be, well, you're not going to be, you pose for it, but our merchandising people up in Sabrina's office mm -hmm. called me the other day and says, I know you're doing the photo shoot. What do you think about doing a life-size cardboard cutout of Abby to give away oh to the Lord, fans. Oh, Lord, I know. You broke the news to me today, and I was like, oh, oh gosh. I wonder if people are going to buy them. You know how many people entered for that stupid pen? Uh, that makes me... That makes my heart so warm. Our good friend Jay out there, he won the pen out there. Yes, I know, Jay. If you're listening, how are you doing? Write in. Let, me, let us know how you're doing. <laughs> well, he, you know, this is going to be a one of a kind item. Mm -hmm. Unless we get a huge response for it, then we're going to mass produce it. <laughs> but this is going to be kind of similar to the pen. Yeah. Where we're going to make a cardboard standee. Is it going to be a raffle? It's going to be a raffle. Wow, look at that. I'm I'm looking to TC for all the ideas tonight. What's yeah. going on? Unbelievable. And <laughs> maybe you can sign it with another pen. We can give away that too. Huh? We can tape it to the back. We can With a bow. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Forget about Santa Claus and Macy's. You know? <laughs> it's Abby and TC. We got, we got Abby and TC's <laughs> department store here. The Can you see us shimmying down the chimney now with the cardboard cutout? I hope there's no fire going on. <laughs> Uh, I, I'll stay up with the sleigh. You can go down. Okay, the, uh, the, I don't want any cookies. I want these um, trolley sour bright crawlers. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, is it kind of weird that someone may have a cardboard standee of you in their living room? I mean, oh, I was thinking about this because. Yes and no. It's weird because, I don't know, it's just weird. It's it's weird thinking that like a life-size cutout of me is going to be with a total stranger. That's weird to me. They're not strangers. They're our fans. Well, yes, but I've never personally met them. But yeah. on the other hand, no, it's not weird because I've always, I've always dreamt of, you know, I've always dreamt of the day of, like, you know, being famous and being recognized on the street. And, you know, a lot of people say it's a horrible thing, but you know, the paparazzi and whatnot. And come with that comes, you know, shirts, t-shirts, cardboard cutouts, posters, you name it. Action figures. Exactly. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, Bobbleheads. Right. So it's, it's like, it's weird to be like, wow. Oh, wow. There's going to be a cardboard cutout of me. Like I had a cardboard cutout of like Zac Efron when I was younger. Well, now someone's going to have one of Abigail Harwich. That's crazy. Just be great. You're not in the uh, adult entertainment industry because they <laughs> yeah. have uh, different types of merchandising for the people. Yeah. I'm fine right where I am. Thank I, you. You, 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 you. You're fine right here. You're at the podcast penthouse, which by the yes, way, I am. it's looking wonderful after you had it repainted and whatnot. Thank you. You know, I even stayed up some nights to do it. Did you? Mm -hmm. You actually came in here with a paintbrush. Yeah. And my... My gummy worms. Well, you know, you need energy. It's a lot of sugar right. in that one. Exactly. You know, the last time I had a worm, it was a South Ball, one of South Boston Jeff's worms, and um, I really don't remember mm. what happened down there. Mm. And uh, getting back to the photo shoot, <laughs> one of the outfits you had on was an ugly Christmas sweater. Mm hmm. Now, I heard also from the marketing people and publicist people up in the Rastani Tower, as I call it, where mm -hmm. Sabrina and Johnny Fabulous concoct all this stuff. I <laughs> just host the show and then relay all this stuff to you. I know. Is that uh, during the Christmas season, you're going to be doing personal video greeting cards for the fans. Yes, it's going to be like Cameo, but better. It's free. Yeah. I mean, well, this year it's free, ladies and gentlemen. I've been told yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I'm, you know. You never know what's going to happen next year. It's a COVID special. Yeah, it's a COVID special. It's free this year. Next Happy year, holidays. Happy COVID days. <laughs> now, uh, we're going to announce this, obviously, on our social media and whatnot. And uh, people are going to be, you know, sending in their names and what they want you to say to them. Yeah. Pretty much. Totally. I mean, I, 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 I kind of leaked it out to some people that I know behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And they've already asked for a quest for it. Oh, good. So That's gonna, so exciting. You're going to be very busy. Now, will, what kind of outfit do you think you're going to wear for those video greeting cards? Okay. Well, the sweater that you'll see me in from the video tonight um, is actually a pajama shirt. And I have a matching pair of flannel pants that go with it. Really? With Christmas trees on them. <gasps> wow. Right? So I'm thinking I'm going to wear those. Maybe we'll put you in front of a fireplace with some cocoa. <gasps> I would love that. Really? Yeah, I would. Maybe we'll get Bull to dress up as Santa Claus or something. Oh my gosh, please. Absolutely. I, I dressed up as Santa Claus last year for- uh, You can be the reindeer. I could be the, could I have the red nose. Uh, absolutely. All right, fine. 
Can we use the DeLorean as the sleigh? Sure. Okay, what's well, my show? We can do whatever we want. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so ladies and gentlemen out there, if you're listening to this, uh, get ready. Abby's going to be doing her own personal video greeting cards to the fans out there. Mm-hmm. Write in, say what you want her to say. And uh, also, as a tradition, I also give out Christmas cards to the fans every year. Oh, I love that. So uh, we'll have, uh, you'll be on the Christmas card this year. Yay, I can't wait. You're going to be on there. So we'll send those out to some of our select people. I can't give it out to everybody i'm not a, a multi-million dollar man down here but uh that'd be nice they can have one we'll have a virtual one that they can look at online oh perfect you know we, 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 well, everything's we, virtual now anyway so it's just as good this isn't virtual you're actually here in front of me right now i know and i can just smell what flavor are those things can i try one of those yeah absolutely hey asmr <laughs> all right so so we, we know we're not faking it here adding it in. So, so this is all right, so it's, it's yellow. It looks like a French fry dipped in ketchup. Oh, I can tell you what it is. It's cherry and lemon. Cherry lemon? Yes. Cherry lemon worm. Yep. My favorite is the strawberry grape, and I'm pretty sure I ate all of them already. But it's I'm going to look for more. It's not bad. What's this gimmick here? It's like, it's like lime green and orange. That one is orange lime. Orange lime? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I just had a strawberry lemon one because I ate all, ch- sorry, cherry lemon because I ate all the strawberry grape ones. So, <coughs> these are Go potent. Show. I found another one. Oh my goodness. It's, <laughs> it's like an everlasting sorry, gobstopper. Sorry, I know nobody cares, but it's just exciting. Everybody cares. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> Go out and buy these. Sponsor me. <laughs> all right. So speaking of this, we're eating Halloween candy because Halloween is just a few days away. Spooky right. season. Spooky season. Now, basically, My favorite season. it is your favorite season. Yes, it is. It is. I actually prefer decorating the mansion with Halloween decoration than Christmas decoration. I love Halloween. I love spooky things. I love. I love going to Salem. Um, I can read tarot cards. Maybe I could do that. You can read tarot cards. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Well, I had to learn. Who teaches you? Is there a tarot school? I mean, probably, but um. What witch taught you this? My aunt actually gave me her tarot cards because, fun fact, you're never supposed to buy your own. It's bad luck. It, or they like don't work or they're cursed or something that you're supposed to be gifted them. So she gave them to me and it comes with a book. And um, it tells you what each card means, whether it's reversed or <clears throat> facing you. Excuse me. And um, yeah, it's really cool. I've gotten pretty good at it because I've been doing them for quite a while. Um, now, now, how do you actually do, do like, uh, what is it, like nine of cups or whatever it is? Yeah, yes. See, I know some of this junk. Yeah. Um, so what junk. exactly is a nine of cups? What is that? What does that mean? Is well, that, it depends on... It's not like seven of nine, the Borg, right? <clears throat> <laughs> so there are cups, wands... Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm very tired. There's cups. Cups have to do with your emotions. Wands are like physical things you build. And there's swords... And there's another one that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. If anyone's out there listening, just write in. All these witches right now are giving you little spells. <laughs> and she, she's not a real witch. She doesn't know what the cups of nine or whatever this is. But um, so when you so it starts with ace and then two, three, four, five. Or I think there's even a one. Actually, I think there's an ace and then there's a one because I think the ace is like the highest one instead of like starting at the bottom. And then it goes one through ten, and then there are pages, um, queens, kings. And those all, like, each number signifies a step in your process, like, in your phase of life. Like, if you're learning a lesson, then you're probably at the beginning. Or if you're starting a new journey, you're at the beginning. If you're learning a lesson, you're probably somewhere in the middle. And once you're done fulfilling whatever this thing is that you need to do, you're at the end of your journey. You're at, like, the tens, cups, pages, cups, tens, pages, queens, kings, like that. Now, can you actually uh, see the future? Honestly, have you predicted anything accurate? Yes, I have. What? I've, I've also had dreams that have come true. Which ones? I've had them too, but different story for different time. But what? <laughs> no, seriously. But what were some of the dreams that came true? Um, <clears throat> when I was in middle school, I had a dream that I was in math class and there was a fire drill, and my teacher, like, flipped out and was like, "Everyone stay calm. Everyone stay calm." And it was just like, "Okay, whatever. We're calm." That was my dream. And literally, in my dream, my friend Matt was standing over by the door at the trash can. The next day, I was sitting in math class, and the fire alarm went off, and Matt was standing over the trash can, and my teacher fell over the trash can and was saying, everybody calm down, everybody calm down, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everyone was like, 
what the hell? Is everything's fine. It's a, it's a fire drill. Now, did you flip out when that happened? Um, yeah, kind of. Because <laughs> I've been saying my whole life that I'm psychic. No one believes me. Everyone just thinks I'm crazy. But now, over time, now that I'm 23, my friends have, you know, come to realize that I do have a very strong intuition. We'd be at the mall and I'd be like, Emily, I have a bad feeling. She'd be like, that's it. We're going home. Everyone put your things down. <laughs> We're getting in the car. That what? has happened more times than... And what, 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 what bad things are going to happen at the mall? I don't know. I just had a bad feeling. Not even at the mall, just, you know, in general. Just have a bad feeling. You never know. Well, it's like the line in Star Wars. I got a bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. See? You're maybe you're part Jedi. That'd be really cool. That would be really cool. You know, you you know, you know, do have like witch tendencies. <laughs> I you, know. You were in the Harry Potter thing and whatnot. So maybe on <laughs> one of your episodes of OMG Abbey, you could do little tarot card readings I would and love to do that. Now, do people like... like if, can someone like... Say we had like, all right, we, we, I'm going to use our good friend, Captain Dave, for an example. Mm-hmm. Now, could you like read his future without him actually being here? Like with the tarot cards? Yeah. Tarot cards really don't tell you the future. It kind of just like reads your energy and tells you if you're like in a journey or not, um, or learning a lesson or something. But yes, it's harder because when you get your tarot cards read, like if I was reading your tarot cards, I would have you shuffle the deck and mm-hmm. put like your energy into. Oh, the we're going to have to do this on one of these podcasts. I'm yeah, and I'm just anxious see, to do just this. See if it works, and maybe maybe we'll you know once uh, all the COVID is gone, we're back doing comic cons, and maybe you want to do one of those like, King Richard Fair gimmicks. Yeah, Can you go down yeah. and do one of those and like you know read tarot cards and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, sure. Now, now you have your own. How many cards are in a tarot card set? Oh my god, you're really testing my knowledge here. It's not like fifty two, like a regular yeah, deck of cards. It's, it's a lot of cards. Really? Yeah. Wow. Now, do they have like kings and queens on it? I've never mm-hmm. actually seen tarot cards, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. I'll mean, bring them in sometime. I actually walk past all those the palm readers and whatnot. So when I go to like the Topsfield Fair and whatnot, those people in my world are just carnies. <laughs> so, uh, but I don't think yeah. you're a carny. I mean, you actually, I can see the, the glow around you. I know I, I am kind of psychic. I can psychic. read auras, actually. Really? Yeah. I, I have a sixth sense and whatnot. I know that I know when things are going to happen and whatnot. And it, Me I, too. It's just weird that I know these things. Me too. It's, uh, I kind of knew, you know, my mom passed away earlier this year, mm-hmm. and I kind of knew she she was going to pass away this year. Really? She wasn't sick until like a month before she died. But you just knew. But as everything evolves around my world is the movie Back to the Future, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. All right. This year marks the 35th anniversary, the number 35. Yep. All right. And the movie came out in 1985. Okay. That number has been flashing at my head for the last year, building up to this big anniversary. Mm-hmm. My mom was born in 1935 and she died at the age of 85. <sighs> I knew that I just got chills. Oh my God. That actual, I, I knew, I, I, I knew this was going to happen. Okay. Because- so on that note, something is going to happen to me this week. I don't know what it is, but I know that something's going to happen because I do have another job outside of here, but I'm not going to disclose where that is. But on my way to work the other day, I was driving up, I woke up and I was just had this weird feeling, not like a bad feeling, just like a weird feeling like, you know, something, something's going on. I don't know. And um, I was driving to work and I kept seeing my initials in like license plates. Really? Yes. And it's, I always look for signs like that and like numbers or letters or something. And usually if I see my initials, I'm like, oh, hey, look at that. It's my initials. But I literally saw at least like five of them on the way. And then I was at work and I was doing something on the computer. And one of the numbers that came up was 4994 which was the complete opposite back to back. And then 7117. And I just, I don't know. To me, that was a sign. I just think something's going to happen this week. I have a feeling something's going to happen. I, I was hope, born in 1971. Really? Yeah. I was born in 97. <gasps> Wow. <laughs> so the sevens and the dinner. We can go, we can go to we can go to a casino and hopefully get seven across the board. Yeah. So okay, so that's really cool. I mean, I think we actually need that, that you know, we, now that we have one episode of uh, OMG Abby in the, in the can, I mean, I know people were looking for your dip. I know that's oh, Yeah, we're going to do that cuz you know, I'm actually craving it and I almost made <laughs> I almost made it earlier for my father. <laughs> now, can you put these gummy worms? Can you put them in dip? Put them in a dip. Well, you can you can you dip them in the dip? Um, that would probably be really gross, but I mean, you can physically. Okay, just what you never know. There's strange people. I out mean, there. if you want to try it and write in, and let me know how it goes. Go for it. But I, I probably won't be doing that. Now, here's the big question: We got Halloween coming up. All oh, right, gosh, okay. we were sidetracked. What we were talking about with yeah. the tarot cards and whatnot. Uh, we're in the we're in a COVID world and whatnot. So, have you picked actually picked out a Halloween costume that you're going to be lounging around <laughs> the Howitch Estate in? Yes, actually. 
I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to be Barbie. Barbie, mm-hmm. the doll. Yes. Okay. Now, just like a really my actually, my dad made my skirt for me. Really, is he a seamstress? Well, his mother taught him, and now he like he over quarantine, like he sewed my curtains for me in my bedroom. Like he he loves to sew. Really? Yes, and I couldn't find the skirt. There's nothing that I, wrong with that. No, 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 no. The at best tailors in the world are men. Exactly. And except for Taylor Swift. Anyway, so well, that's um, a different story for a different time. <laughs> um, but I, I I couldn't find the skirt that I wanted, so I found two tank tops. Well, I found a tank top, but I got two of them, so like it wouldn't be too thin. And I went home and I had my dad measure it, and I had him sew them together and put like a band in the middle, and he just finished it today. It actually came out pretty good. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to send me a picture. I will. I, I want to see this now. Are you gonna be like Malibu Barbie or no? Just like I saw it on Pinterest. It's like not really a Barbie costume. It's just like a pink skirt and a white shirt that says Barbie on it, and I have like the little heart sunglasses. You don't have the Corvette, do you? Oh, I wish I had the Corvette. Oh. Anyone out there want to send me a Corvette? Well, we got people sending you boots and whatnot, so you never know. I'll take a Corvette. Uh, you'll take a, what do they send you? The Bobby Corvette, the little toy one. That's fine, too. You think you could sit in there? You could probably sit in there. It could be cool. We can do yeah, like I a, might crush a, it, a, a sure. perspective shot, like they did in Lord of the Rings <laughs> yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be fun. So Barbie, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, are you going to sing that stupid little song? I'm a Barbie girl. No, I hate that song. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I, I hope you weren't singing it, because I actually know a guy named Quincy, who sings that for some weird reason, <laughs> yeah. all right? It's strange that, like, this 60-year-old guy sing, you know, I'm a Barbie girl. It's like, what? <laughs> Come on, dude. Um, now, how, now, did you have a lot of Barbies growing up? Oh, my God, yes. I had so many Barbies. I had the house. I had the van. I had the RV. I had, you name it, I had it. And then I moved on to American Girl Dolls. American Girl Dolls? Mm-hmm. See, I'm not I'm not up on that. What exactly are American Girl Dolls? American Girl Dolls are like, they're not ceramic, but they're not plastic. Are they porcelain? No, they, they, they don't break. But they're like, they're similar to those porcelain dolls that like are old fashioned. That those creepy had. looking weird things. Yeah, but they're not creepy looking. And they have like a, a million of them and they all have different names or you can get one like and design it to look just like you. Uh huh. But I had like, I had a ton of them and I loved those. But before those, it was Bobby's. I had a ton of Bobby's things. I mean, was there like how many different versions of Bobby were there? I mean, I mean, it was y'all. Oh my sh- God, there did, are so many. Did they ever give her a different hair color? Yes. They did? Yeah. Is it like brunette Barbie, redhead Barbie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bald Barbie, you know, you never know. Actually, you know, they. now that you say that, I feel like I did see something about a bald Barbie. They did, I feel like they did something for breast cancer awareness. Really? I don't know when though. I feel like I've seen that. Maybe I'm making it up. And if I am making it up, then, you know, you guys should get on that. Now, was Barbie anatomically correct underneath all the uh, clothing? What do you mean anatomically? Yeah. When you looked at her, did you, was she naked underneath? Yes. Her? Because when I was a kid, I had the Princess Leia action figure, <laughs> and uh, she wasn't really all that one hundred percent naked underneath it. Oh no, yeah, the Barbies are, I believe. They have like skin colored like underwear and stuff. I want to just you know just for the people for the perverts who could be listening out there, <laughs> I had to ask it and whatnot. Of course, as soon as I got yeah, my they're, pr- they're anatomically correct. I'm not ashamed to admit that when I got my Princess Leia action figure when I was eight <laughs> you years just old, the skirt, yeah. I lifted it up and see what was going on down <laughs> right, there. Yeah, and let's just I say, feel like everyone does. You could be a little curious. The force was with her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, unbelievable down there. It was better than, was better than Cabbage Patch doll. My sister had Cabbage Patch dolls. So, okay, American Girl dolls were like, like Cabbage Patch dolls were the craze, and then it was American Girl dolls, I think. I now, know. did you have all your Bobbies dressed <laughs> on your bed when you went to school, when you came no, home? No, no. Where no. did you display your Bobbies? I didn't. They lived in a box. <laughs> they lived in a box, huh? Yeah, like a plastic So you're like bin. a slave owner to the Bobbies. You just basically <laughs> When just I tell you that I had so many Bobbies... Like I, I can't. They wouldn't have fit anywhere. Did you give them different names? Because you can't have all of them named Barbie. I don't think that I named them. You know, Barbie number three. Get over here. You, you I know? think it depend depended on like what I was doing. Like I would play house with them, or like my my mom would play with me, or my aunt would play with me, and just depending on like what we were playing, I think we named them different things. But what what, what, what did you play with? What, what what kind of scenarios did you play when you played house with Barbies? Like I, I, like I had like a little girl Barbie, and like sometimes they would be sisters living in the same house. Sometimes they would be best friends. Sometimes it would be like a mother and a daughter. There's one instant that keeps playing over in my head for some reason. And I will never forget it. We, my mom and I were laying on the floor in the basement playing. And um, she was playing the mom and I was playing the daughter. And she was like, There's a all stretch, right. huh? <laughs> yeah, right. And she was like, all right, mom needs to go make dinner now. And like got up to go leave to go make dinner. But she was saying it like as if the Barbie was doing it. And I was like, no, come back. We're not done yet. And she was like, 
I need to go upstairs and make dinner. I can't play this anymore. Now, do you think playing with all those Barbies? You're an only child. We we established mm-hmm. that on another on mm-hmm. another podcast that went on. Now, did you do you think that's why you got into performing? Because you were actually performing through these action figure, these dolls. Honestly, maybe. And now looking back on it, I mean, I don't think cognitively that's why I did it, but probably there was probably a part of me that liked telling stories and like acting from different characters perspectives wow yeah now, now that i look back on wow that was really deep <laughs> do, do you still have all these bobbies i want to say i have most of them do you have the boxes they came in <laughs> no like the cardboard boxes. yeah like because that's what you know no. <laughs> worth money if you put them back in those things and sell I them i know they would be what now think of this what, what if they can make dolls now obviously we're doing cardboard cutouts of abigail mm-hmm. Harwich. what if they made a barbie abby i would die really that would be that would literally like make my life complete. Well, if Mattel is listening, I'm assuming Mattel still makes Barbie. I think so. Well, Mattel, get on, get on. Forget about Barbie's old now. How old is Barbie? She's got to be around now for seventy some odd years, right? Oh, at least she's like a golden girl now. Get rid yeah. of her. Flush her down the toilet. She's <laughs> gone. We make need an Abby. We need an Abby action figure. That oh, would an, literally make my life. Can you see little girls out there going, "Oh, MG Abby"? Okay. I would cry. I would absolutely cry. <laughs> Thinking about it now, I'm getting emotional. I, I, actually, I can see a tear <laughs> welling up right now. I mean, I, 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 but wouldn't that be cool though? That would be incredible. I think we need to start. That, that. that would be like when I knew that I made it. <laughs> I, I think we need for anybody who's listening to this podcast out there, everyone <laughs> right who follows Mattel. who has social media out there. Let's let's get Mattel to make an Abigail Harwich Barbie action figure because you know it really wouldn't have to change it that much. No, I mean you know maybe I look like Barbie, not to be like oh I'm perfect, but like you know I have the blonde hair and the, the stereotypical you know. Are you anatomically correct? Yes. Okay, that's all we have to say. You know, there you go, right there. Now you have the house. Would you have like a big big pink house? That's what I have in the in my basement. Well, at least had. I don't know if we still have it. Okay, I was just going to say, if you still have a pink uh, house in your basement right now, we're going to be calling Doc McMurphy up now. we got a little couch time. Uh, no, that's okay. I mean, obviously, playing with toys is awesome. I still collect as, as, you know, memorabilia and whatnot. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it's, I think an action figure of Abby... That would be incredible. Is, uh, there's got to be someone out there that follows us out there, that knows someone who knows somebody. There's enough... Comic Con geeks out there that listen to this thing and know us that we can say we point us in the right direction. Yeah. I think for next year's Christmas, we need on our website I have for, chills. for sale <laughs> and and an after hours Abby Barbie version. That would literally make my life. With like a little talk show I'm set. I'm getting excited. Maybe it's all the sugar, I don't know. Oh, let me ask with like a little talk show set. Oh my gosh. The oh o- my gosh, I'm getting so excited. The <laughs> OMG Abby playset. <laughs> That would be incredible. Now, which celebrity would you like to see come in as a doll and you can interview them? As a doll? As a doll, you know? Obviously, it's Taylor an act. Swift. I, I, other than Taylor <laughs> Swift, all right? Um, she could be a musical guest. I mean, who would you want to, who would you want, you know, what version of, of, of an action figure from your, anything would be like your first guest? Honestly, I would love to interview as as a Barbie doll. I would love to interview the very first Barbie, like the ancient one. Really? Yeah. Now, do we know who Barbie was modeled after? Was she pre or I after don't know. Marilyn Monroe? You know, I don't know that answer actually. We'll, we'll have to find out. I'm sure some of the toy collectors that we know out there know the history of Barbie. Yeah. Now, now you say it Barbie, kind of like they do down Bobby. in Australia. Like, <laughs> put another shrimp on the Barbie. Yeah, on the Barbie. <laughs> um, I, I'm I'm all for this. I think the fans out there want an Abby uh, Barbie action figure, even to display it and whatnot. That would be incredible. I that th- would literally be incredible. All right. So that 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 is that is everybody's mission out there to find us a connection. At Mattel. I know that, uh, what's the big toy company? I think it's Kenner or Hasbro is in Providence, I, Rhode I, Island. Oh, what one is? Yes. Um, I think it's Hasbro. It Hasbro. It has. It is Hasbro. And they're down in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Maybe mm-hmm. we can find let's some. Let's go. We'll, let's go right now. Okay. We'll knock on let's the door. Get in the car. And Maybe say, like, who are you? <laughs> and say, listen, see this girl right here? She wants her own Barbie doll for next Christmas holiday season. They'd be like, "All right, thanks, bye." Or they'll <laughs> call the co- now. <laughs> or they'll call the cops on us. Yeah. Or they're, they're going to go. No, you know what they're going to say? Wait a minute, you're TC, and that's <laughs> Abby. Who are you kidding? They know us, of course. They'd be they like, know. "Actually, your dolls are already being made." <laughs> And then that's when I'm going to have to call 911 because you'll be passed out on, on the sidewalk. Yeah, you're right. Or I'll have to use some of these worms for some, some smelling salts out there. But yeah. the big thing, favorite uh, Halloween candy. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Oh, you didn't even have, didn't even have to finish. Why Now, I love Kit Kats. Now, why Kit Kat? I don't know. Like, 
it's kind of recent actually i started eating kit kats and i was like wow I freaking love these. <laughs> is, it, now, is it the cookie wafer inside? Maybe. But I'm not like a huge wafer fan. So I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just, oh, they're so good. Now, do I'm you, not like a huge, huge chocolate person. Now, do you crack them so you can yes. have four individual ones or do you just suff it all the way down? No. Oh, my gosh. I have to crack them. Do you dip them in milk or anything? No. You know, just just down down the Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. Now, do you like the big bars or the small bars or, which, or whichever one I is mean, available? I mean... Whichever one is available, but I prefer not the small ones because I go, you know, like... Through a bag in about two seconds? Yeah, but if you have a big one, it's like you can look at either one big wrapper or like a um, million tiny ones. Uh, you have to go with the million tiny ones because you know, I, I, like if you're driving in the limousine and you're stuck in traffic and it's you, you just rob, rob some uh, Halloween kid's uh, <laughs> bag and it's yeah. full of uh, uh, Kit Kats. Second choice, if you couldn't have Kit Kats, what would be the runner-up? Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Probably. You know, or mm, maybe like peanut M and M's. Peanut M and M's. Mm, those are really good. What about you? You're not a big peanut butter Reese's Pieces or Reese's I peanut do butter like, cups. I do like Reese's Pieces. I, I mean, I'll eat the peanut butter cups, but I'm more of a Reese's Pieces kind of gal. What about Starburst? Do you like those? Yes, I love Starburst, but, but only the red and the pink ones. Only the red and pink ones. I like the orange <laughs> ones actually. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I'll I'll eat all of the flavors, but. The, the red and the pink ones are my favorite. All right. Your, our good friend Maria Stefano's had this on her Twitter today. Worst candy that you don't like. Ooh. Worst candy. Ugh. I don't know why I just thought of these, but milk duds. That was a big thing. A lot of people wrote milk duds. Really? I put down, remember those you know, those candies that's on the paper, those, like, those dots? Oh, yeah. Those things, too. That was nasty because it was more paper than candy. Yeah. I mean, I really like any candy, but... I don't know. I'm not a huge, huge chocolate person, but I'm also not a huge, huge sour sweet person either. So it just kind of depends on the mood I'm in. Well, look at the size of that bag you brought in here. <laughs> I mean, you could feed a small Actually, country with I that. Actually, I was in the bathroom changing and I saw it in my bag and I was like, oh, you know, what? I could really go for one of these. And I, here we are, whole bag later. A whole. In <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an actual <laughs> real bag. Oh, they're falling everywhere <laughs> of a uh, sour worm gimmicks. I'm not. I just ate one. I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty good. So. We're going to sit here and we're going to eat this candy <laughs> and we're going to wrap this show up right now. So if you have anything to say to your fans out there who love you all around the world. Just once again, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for writing in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for replying to my tweets and tweeting at me and chatting me and all, all the nice things you're doing. Thank you so much. Um, I ne <laughs> never in a million years thought I'd be here with all of you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. I remember this is after hours, <laughs> and, and we never close. Mm. Come and get me a drink. <laughs>